This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here unboxing the Tablet Express Dragon Touch i8 Quad Core Tablet. Now, the thing about the Dragon Touch i8 tablet is this is the first Windows tablet that I'll be actually reviewing, and it uses the Intel Baytrail CR Z3735 G Quad Core processor at 1.33 gigahertz. So this is an 8-inch tablet that supports 800 by 1280 pixel IPS resolution display, has 1 gig of RAM and 16 gig storage, front cam, rear cam, the whole nine. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to test around and see what I think of this Windows tablet, which is my first Windows tablet, actually. I'm looking forward to reviewing it and seeing how it is. So Dragon Touch i8, here we go. Obviously, sliding the sleeve off, sleeve off here. Box here. We've got the white tablet that it's a little thick. It's an 8 inch tablet, not a 7 inch, so it's slightly bigger than, in dimensions than like a Kindle Fire uh, 7 inch. We've got ports here including USB, HDMI out, headphones, TF card for uh, supporting additional memory, and a little tiny mic in there uh, for talking to the tablet. You can see the, the camera right here for the rear facing, the front facing camera. Ironically, the input here says a 3 amp, 5 volt 3 amp, which is higher than a 2.4 amp or 2.1 amp input. So I wonder if USB chargers can actually charge it with it having a 3 amp input. I'll have to test that out. We have product registration dock and a user manual that's better than some of the user manuals I've seen. You can see it includes the instructions for setting up Windows 8. And it includes a micro USB cable and an AC adapter for plugging into the wall. I like tablets that charge via micro USB. They make some tablets that actually charge via a dedicated charging port. But I like micro USB charging. It keeps it simple. The same port to plug it into your computer is the same port it charges with. So, and that's about all that's in the box. I'm gonna go ahead. I've had this sitting for quite a while, so I'm actually gonna go charge it for a while. Then I'm gonna boot it up, test it out, tell you if, uh, what the performance is. Now it's you know it's Windows Mobile, so there's not gonna be as big of an app store like there is on Android or iOS. But it should have that Windows experience, that touchscreen experience. And I've been using Windows 8.1 with a touchscreen monitor for a while. So I'll compare it. I'll definitely load up my Office apps. I'll use it as an extension of my PC or laptop and see how the mobile Windows tablet works out. Stay tuned for the full review. Thank you for watching.